extremely, extremely surreal. And um, like as you're even announcing it, what was flowing through my body and the thoughts going back on it all was so unbelievably deep. But what? Let me get a couple of things out of the way before I tell you how I felt that day. Number one, I want everybody to know this, that a lot of people, you guys probably know, but a lot of times guys either don't know or didn't know or didn't put it together at the time. But as Booker T and Buff Bagwell being at Raw, when you get told you're going to be the main event on Raw tonight, well, Booker T at the time and myself were not really with a card like WWF and WCW had, that wouldn't really be a main event. To Booker T, to me, to the world, that's really not a main event match, I don't think. Was and is Booker T a main eventer? Absolutely. Is that match a main event match? Very possibly. Was it yet? No. So we, can we? Can I cuss on this program or not? You go, yep, you fly. Go right ahead. Okay. We smelled shit as soon as we saw we were. We wasn't like, all right, we're main event. We were like, what the fuck? This ain't good. So, but you can't, but but you can't act like that because your bosses and everybody is acting like they've given you the main event. You should be happy. So of course we're like, all right, you know, thanks. And then every time me and Booker got to the side, we were like, what's what the fuck's going on, bro? Why, why are we main event? What what is what's going on? Well. All of a sudden, here's the main thing I want to tell y'all that a lot of people don't know. If you're this McMahon and you own the WCW and the WWF, and you're going to put the very first match of the invasion on, would you want to do it in Tacoma, Washington, or wait one week and do it in Atlanta, Georgia? Right, exactly, yep. Instead, they don't do it. And see, we knew next week was Atlanta. We thought something like happened in Tacoma was going to happen in Atlanta. But all of a sudden, it happens in Tacoma, and we smell shit. Because why would he push this? Why not do it in Vince's, I mean, Ted Turner's backyard? Why not wait? What are we doing? Let's don't do this. This is wrong. You know, so a lot of people, you know, they want to blame, they want to say stuff like, well, you know, it was a bad match, so they fired Buff Bagwell. You don't get fired after 12 years of having great matches and being a five-time world tag team champion over one bad match. You may get punished, you may get cussed, you may get asked, what the hell are you doing? You don't get fired. The mother rumor, they're stuck like glue. Who in the hell gets their mother to call in sick or whatever they said that my mother did when you're trying to fit into the WWF? I mean, come on, man. I wrestled with 20 stitches in my head that Shane Helms gave me and didn't even tell them about it. And then I wait a week and call in sick. Why would I call in sick the first week when I was hurt? So I wrestled in Tacoma, Washington. That match, I had 20-something 20, 20 stitches in my head. The night before in Seattle, I had 20-something stitches in my head in a, in a house show match that me Booker had. So why did I complain then? I, because I didn't bitch about it. It's a lie. And however Jim Ross, God bless him, he thought of it, and it stuck like glue. But... I mean, even to the point where I remember calling my mom one day and going, look, I, I, I'm not even going to be mad at you. I mean, did you call and I didn't know about it or something? I mean, even I broke down, like, just tell me. I mean, there's no way something like this could stick this hard. So long story short, no, my mother didn't call. B, I mean, you know, two, why would I do that? And three, to take you back on that day, Everything you just heard kind of explains my day. It wasn't a happy I main event on Raw Day. It was a worrisome, nervous, what's going on day. So it wasn't your typical, hey, man, you finally reached the ladder, and God darn, that's great, brother. You're, you're fucking your main event on Monday Night Raw. With Booker. It wasn't that feeling, which I would have gave anything for it to be. And, and it still, believe it or not, it kind of was because because surely 
they're not going to fire Buff Bagwell, are they? But I was wrong. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm selling good thoughts and trying to have good thoughts, and then, but me and Booker are constantly going, what the fuck? Well, all of a sudden, this is something else a lot of people don't know. After the match is over, me and Booker had a, a shitty match. And believe it or not, we get to the back, and Booker, and me and Booker, if you want to go back in time at all, have got a thousand unbelievable barn burner matches between all the tag teams over the years. Spot after spot, me and him have ran over the years with different tag teams and never missed a beat, never skipped a move, never tripped, stumbled, slipped. I mean, nailed everything. Our chemistry was off the charts. And for some reason that night, it was just off. I mean, could it be the 30,000 doing fans? Could it be that Shane McMahon, right before I go out, goes, don't look in the camera? <laughs> and I went, don't don't look in the camera? I said, that's all I do. I said, I pose, and I do a dance, and I wear a top hat, and I look in the camera. I said, that's all I do. He said, you can't, he said, we don't do that up here. We don't look in the camera. He tells me that when my music's on. So if you ever watch that back, I'm not myself at all from jump. And then I get booed. And then and then Booker gets booed. And Stacey Keebler gets booed. And, it, you know, it just it just is a really, really crazy thing. Well, then after the match is over and we have a shitty-ass match, we get to the back. Believe it or not, Booker tried to blame me. And I go, whoa, whoa, wait. I said, wait a minute, brother. Hold on a second now. We, we've we had a thousand good matches. Let's don't, let's don't start pointing fingers and... And I said, you know, you weren't exactly, you know, helping out either. To, and so we, and all of a sudden, Johnny said, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 stop, stop, starters, it's our fault. And we were like, what? And Johnny said, nobody knows what I'm getting ready to tell you, this this part right here. Nobody knows this part, except them and us and y'all right now. And that is Pat, give me a last name. Pat that works up there. Pat Patterson does the main events for WWF. I did not know this until this moment. He says, hey, kid, I'm sorry. What happened was I do the main events up here. Johnny thought I was going to do y'all's finish and y'all's match to tell you what to do. And I and John and, and Johnny thought I was going to do it, and I thought Johnny was going to do it because he's y'all's bosses before, and nobody talked to y'all. So y'all went out to the best you could do, and gave us kind of a WCW kind of match, and that's not how we do it up here. It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. Let it go. And so we felt better about the whole situation after that because they understood at least because nobody did come to us. Nobody told us uh, the finish, really. It was really vague because um, there really wasn't a finish. Steve and them just hit the ring and beat us up. And then me getting thrown out of the building, was it wasn't really supposed to go down like that either. It was just kind of vague. And when you get told your main event on Monday Night Raw, you don't ask too many questions. You know, you just kind of, yes, sir, no, sir. You know, so we just kind of, yes, sir, no, sir, and then, they took a lot of the blame when we got to the back, you know, they said, Hey, you know, we you know, we, we, we were supposed to go over it and didn't go over with you, so we're you know, we're sorry. But you know, overall it was you know, it was it was a great day and all that, fortunately by you know, by knowing there was something deeper set. There was a there was another plan and, and, and progress that we didn't know about or they would have waited till Atlanta, probably. 